Hello everyone. I hope everybody is okay. Hello to the YouTube world and all the good people who are doing good good stuff on eBay selling. Um, a sad news I'm going to disclose. Uh, good two years of trading in eBay. I've just noticed I've uh, lost my top rated seller status. So literally I was very disappointed and gutted to lose that. You know one, nobody wants to lose their top rated status. You know you do everything possible in your will everything possible to keep up the good work even though sometimes you end up losing it and that is heartbreaking you comply by eBay's rules and regulations and all the malarkey and you you try to make your customer much pleased as possible and yet sometimes thing doesn't go in your way. You know, I, I, I've just noticed my stats and looking at it and 760 uh, item delivered. Out of that, I think 10, 15 of them were late. But sometimes it's not down to you sometimes could be down to your courier company, your parcel delivery company. Somehow they get muddled up, somehow they de delay the delivery of your items and in turn you get a strike. The customer writes the bad feedback or leaves item delayed and in turn they will give you a bad report. So it's not down to you. So all the people are who is watching this and selling on the eBay, you know, don't don't be disappointed. I'm not disappointed. All I've done now, because I've done all the good hard work over two years to build it up, and now suddenly I've noticed I lost it, so I don't care. You know, you, you don't worry about it. Because, you know, that's a small minor thing. I'm still um, feedback 97.97% I think. So I'm not worried. I, although I will change my condition and delivery terms nowadays, you know, I used to do, I used to be mad at going to post office and parcel office. And if that's the case, for that sort of reason, they're going to take away the, the, top seller status but what I'll do I will completely change my delivery status from next day delivery to three working days now and I will still send parcel within one day one working day so in turn what that will do is customer will see when they get feedback and eBay asked them, was your parcel delivered on time? And obviously it will be delivered on time because I will be doing my usual stuff, delivering them one day working, one day, one day delivery time. But on, on my listing page, you will say three deliveries, three working days, but I will be selling them one day. So they still get their product on time. They'll give me a good feedback and everything will be punky-dory. And another thing I uh, <clears throat> I stress, and I'm sure you most of you eBay sellers realize this, is don't worry about losing your top rated seller status. You know, if you do lose it, don't worry about it. All you need to do is now is you can promote your listings. So all top rated seller status does is gives you give you a a lift in your listing 
you know, eBay algorithm makes your listing go up a bit. And that's what it is. But if you're paying them to put your list up anyway, sponsored, so it would make no difference whether you will have, whether you have a top rated seller or not. It doesn't make any difference. So what you do is if they give you the option to promote your listing, go and promote it. And your listing will be up there anyway. So you don't need to worry about it. Give you an example. Years ago, we noticed. Well, you must have seen it on if you are, if you live in the UK, you or around the world, everybody knows about the um, upmarket shop called Harrods, and Harrods used to be owned by a very wealthy person. Uh, his name is um, Al Fahed, Muhammad Al Fahed, and he's from Egypt. So he had this, he owned this prestigious shop in London, Knightsbridge, for many years. And he used to have all the, here in the UK, what we call the Royal Crest, you know, and to get that sort of crest, your business has to be, you know, that good and outstanding businesses. They Crest means everyone, every royal family or people on the upper, they have a family crest they put outside. But the arm, we call arms of crest of arms, you know. And it's very difficult to get hold one. Most majority big big business, uh, British business don't have it. It's the privileged ones who get it. And it's basically what you do is I think they applied the shops or the companies will apply to to the government I think or there's a body for the crest given these plaques and they will in turn look at it, check everything and if you comply by their rules and regulation and everything they see it and they will pass it on to uh, some other authorities and if they approve they will send it to uh, whoever the Majesty the Queen or Prince Charles has his own crest, uh, the Queen has her own crest, um, Duke of Edinburgh has his crest and they will in turn approve it and then you can use this crest put it on your front of your shops or if you are a closing brand you you can stick it in your, in your labels or it's basically a, a publicity stunt that's what it is it's publicity knowing the to get that crest you are sort of marked as brilliance right so Going back to the issue, Harold had all these crests, you know, he had three or four of those. And one side of the Harold store, they used to, plaque was hanged on top to show people, you know, this is Harold's and there are the royal warrants stuck up. And when Alpha had the issue with the royal family, you know, regarding his son's death and all that malarkey and everything. So he was so angry with the world. So he got rid of all the queer, you know, just chucked them out basically. So what I'm trying to say moral of this story is just be, he chucked those crest out and you would have thought just because they lost the royal warrant, his business will go down. In fact, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. I think a couple of years back, Mr. Al Fahed sold Harrods to the Qataris for, I think, a region of two billion pounds or two billion dollars. So that does not deter the crest. So what I'm saying to you, the moral is the same thing. Just because eBay offers you a top seller rated crest, you know, one of these stupid stamps, 
to show you're a good seller, blah, 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 all the rest of it. Don't, just because they're taken away, don't be disappointed and suck down, you know, get really down. Oh, I lost my top rate of status. Don't worry about it. You keep on doing the good stuff that you always do. And they will automatically will come back and give you again. All your customers want is good quality, good service, and the product you're selling is top notch. So just look at the feedback and look at it. Don't worry about this yellow crest business on your eBay. It, it does look good, but I don't think you it can stop you trading on eBay. So carry on the good work. And all of your the customers who's coming back to you day in, day after, they will always come back. They don't come to you because you've got a top rate of seller sticker on your right hand side. They come to your site, your product, they see your feedback, they know you're a good, good um, reseller. They look at everything, they look at your product, what you're selling, and if they like it, they just buy it. They don't think twice. It's like going, all those customers years ago used to go to Harold's. I don't think hardly nobody knew what the hell was the roll currents all about. They don't care. It's Harold's, we're going in there. If you got the money to spend, they go to Harold's. Simple. So if you can provide a good service, good quality stuff, you shouldn't have to worry about a poxy little yellow crest stamp up on your side to show you a good seller. Good seller is how you come across to your customer, how you deal with your customer. And that's it. So get your act together. If you do lose your uh, your top register, don't worry about it. Keep on the good stuff you keep doing and the customers will never notice a difference. And I'm certainly, I'm not going to notice any difference because even though my sale may drop, but because I'm promoting, I'm paying eBay money to promote my listing, it's not going to make any difference. So that whether I have the crest or I don't have the crest, I think my taking still be similar because they have to get my sponsors list up anyway because I'm paying them. So it's contrary to having one or not having one. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please all, all watch all my other videos. Please subscribe and click like buttons and write comments on if you like if you don't like and give me some idea what to talk about i have a lot of things i can talk about on this channel i'm trying to grow this channel obviously i'm new to the ebay game and this is not my full-time profession i have other jobs but uh, I've been selling on eBay for roughly for since 2005. So early days of eBay, so I've done and dusted, you know, years ago it was so hard because everything was new and everything has to be done differently. Nowadays it's so easy. Once you get the hang of eBay, everything sort of falls in its place. Um, so yeah, once again, if you ever come across a situation where it's not down to you, it's down to somebody else. And I'm sure you can um, overcome that without any any problems. All the customer to be successful business, all you need to do is pump out the good stuff and Keep on reacting, you know, engage with your customers. Fill them as your 
they're your fans, they're your friends, they're your, they're the ones who will put uh, bread and butter on your table, they're the ones who feed you. So it's like nurturing something, you nurture them, give them a big cuddle and give them a big hug. And how do you hug them? Often you write to them, thanking them and do all this good stuff and they will come back to you. They will like you. They like your store. They like, even though sometimes they will come into your store but they will not buy it. But that's a good thing. At least they're coming. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of my videos. As I said before, please click like, subscribe button. And how to put up more video for you. Thank you so much.